Hi, I'm Cheryl Hunter. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use your intuition. Last week, I posted a video about following your intuition. Someone posted a question, which is, well, how do you do that? Another one of you responded. Peter writes, start with small things. He suggested looking for some decision that you're grappling with currently. Not a big one, like the example I gave in last week's video of Tom moving across the country for a new job, but a small decision. Peter suggests sitting down in a quiet place and turning within, trusting that the answer will come. He said, if it doesn't come, try again. And if it doesn't come again, give it a break. Go out, exercise, go to the beach, walk around, look at the mountains, do whatever makes you happy, and then try again. It will come. Peter recommended that you keep a journal of your intuition victories. Thank you so much, Peter. I love, love, love your contribution and that you guys were the ones answering the, asking the question and answering the question this week. Here's what I know about intuition. Each time you follow it, each time you honor your intuition, it grows stronger. Here's some of my coaching. I say follow your hunches when you're just starting out on this path. Well, and always, but start by following your hunches. When I very first started playing the intuition game and trying to develop it for myself, that's all I put my attention on, listening for hunches and following them. If I'd get a hunch to drive home a new direction, I would do that. One day I did and learned that I'd avoided a big traffic accident. Hmm. I got a hunch one time to go to a different supermarket than I'd ever been to, and I ran into an old friend whose number I no longer had. It was amazing. It still is amazing. How many times have you ever done something that you knew you shouldn't have done, and it hasn't gone well, and afterwards you've said to yourself, oh, I knew I shouldn't have done that. Here's my charge to you. Vow to never, ever, ever do that again. Vow to honor your inner guidance no matter what. Start by being willing to tell yourself the truth about what your gut or your intuition is telling you. Your intuition will not lie to you. You don't have to tell everybody else the truth if you're not willing to yet, but be willing to tell the truth to yourself. Then just be willing to honor it. You may have to give up fear to do that. Fear is a mechanism that blocks the intuition. I'd love to hear from you. What tips do you have on using your intuition? What did you get out of this video? Is there some place you haven't been following your intuition that now you're going to promise to do that? Remember, having a wonderful moment of clarity or any insight and then not taking correlate action means that insight is worthless. So using the comments box here on this page as your forum to be in communication and create a community just like Peter did last week. Let us know. I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel. If you have not yet subscribed over at CherylHunter.com, do that for more premium content. We've got a lot of great things coming up that I want to share with you. Thank you for watching. Have your life make a difference.